Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sistrino back to talk about Deal or No Deal Island, Episode 6, Time for Dundee. And boy, the banker was in a festive mood today. April Fool's, Bazinga, You Got Got, No Elimination, and here to talk about it, of course, the star of Hit or Quit Podcast, Jenny Autumn. Jenny, how are you? Oh, Rob, Gandhi. you know, Gandhi, I guess. Uh, no, we still love Gandhi, but I, I really feel and I maybe I should issue an apology because I think last week I might have angered the survivor gods with my um, potentially hot take of uh, Dondi being better than survivor 46 at that time because uh this week what happened, the momentum shifts back to survivor sh exactly survivor said uh, okay i see you and Dondi said i'm gonna fall back a little bit let me like here hold my non-elimination case <laughs> uh bro um and so but you know what Dondi still has my heart uh but it was a little bit of a whimper tonight with no elimination but i you know this show and this and being able to podcast about it with you guys it's still okay. it's still a treat for me so i'm gives us a reason to get still. back together of course yeah. back with us the ultimate night owl who will be enjoying his day off tomorrow with no exit interview it's chappelle Hoo -hoo! yeah <laughs> it's me the night owl um let, let me just go ahead and just dive in and just talk about this right now. You, Jenny, you talk about this episode not being great with our bankers, uh, you know, personal reward. They got this briefcase that says non-elimination. This is your fault. You and Rob, this is y'all's fault. What did I do? Hear me out. Hear Sir? me out. You don't hear me out. Rob? You no, know, him too. Especially him. <laughs> Let's start with yeah. him. If okay. this show wasn't so hell bent on keeping Rob and Rob's allies in the game, <laughs> we probably would have had an elimination. We probably would have and Rob's allies. This is the second week Alyssa has dodged elimination due to a twist. And I don't think it's by coincidence. I think they're trying to give these people some outs because they want to keep Boston Rob in the yeah. game and they want to keep Rob Cessarino on the podcast. Look, I, I <laughs> would my, my, <laughs> my head was went, went there certainly last week with the bankers offer right. to Miranda, the great Miranda. Uh, mm -hmm. but <laughs> let me then say. Yeah. I don't know how they would have pulled this off because that if somebody who was like, how did they know necessarily like Rob wasn't going to open like the bankers or like, cause it was on the lower, the lower thing that people knew it was kind of a lemon. Like, would there have been an elimination or they would have just had some other mechanism to force a non elimination here. So I don't know. They had one suitcase the whole time. It wasn't like one of these things where it's like, oh, like uh, this just in a special message from the banker. Uh, yeah. No elimination tonight. Like they, they was, brought the case to the thing. Unless like <laughs> during the, Aaron could have played. Unless during the game, like productions like, um, yeah, Aaron, actually, sorry, we just need the case for a second. We just have to look at it. And they like change the message that's inside of it. <laughs> but yeah. um, all they were going to do is, regardless regardless of the outcome, that case was going to get open. It didn't matter who got it. They were yeah. going to be like, if Rob, Alyssa, or Aaron were in danger, open the case. We did it. No, because this does not benefit the people who got the case. This does not benefit Amy, no. who goes down there, beats the baker, and yeah. gets Could that case. It does it. This is to save someone, and y'all know who I'm talking about. This is Rob's <laughs> alliance being, being, you listen, you let them shenan once. God damn it, they're going to shenan again. And they did. They did it again. Uh, because if you look at this, you put Amy and Aaron in the bottom two. Amy went all the way down. No deal her way all the way down to the, to the final case. And then out of nowhere, they say, now open the personal one. Why? Why? What does that benefit Amy? She just put her game on the line to eliminate somebody and you're still making her open it. You should have said, do you want to open that? Or do you want to take the deal? They said, no, open it regardless because we're not letting you eliminate Alyssa or Boston Rob. We heard you in confessional. It's not happening. Well, Rob was not eligible to be eliminated, right? He was Alyssa safe. Alyssa was, yeah. and so was yeah, Aaron Alyssa. as yes. well. They both were. And so I was like, yeah, you might not get Rob here. But again, last week, Rob wasn't going home. It was probably going to be Alyssa, and they knew it. So I just think the shenanigans are happening because y'all are letting it happen. Yes, well, What you're Rob saying makes you. sense. I just don't <laughs> understand, like, if Aaron would have played, I think that they would have opened the case too, right? 
Yeah, yeah, maybe unless they say, okay, Aaron, you have the opportunity to not open the suitcase and he doesn't take it. And the best case scenario, he takes it. And then they say, no elimination, Rob still doesn't go home. But I think the moment you put that personal bank in, that personal reward in there, you make it the lowest hanging fruit, mm -hmm. literally anybody is going to get it. The person who's probably going to get it is the person who's going to end up in the fi final two anyway, because they're going to have the lowest amount. Because remember, you yeah. need to have the highest amounts to stay out of the bottom. They're going to give they you basically forfeit a whole case by going after that. So somebody down there in that bottom two was bound to end up with it. And they were going to always save Alyssa and Rob or Aaron. It was just always going to happen. I'm sorry. I just refuse to believe anything otherwise. OK, but no one's right. going to choose to not open it. So it's like that was just no matter no matter the result, that case being there meant it was always going to be a non elimination mm -hmm. round. Yeah. Um, Unless they didn't go get it. And they went the and question, got it. Who's not going to do that? They don't like Exactly. Yeah. How the hell is this a banker's bonus? Exactly. It, they just <laughs> called it yeah. that because they needed a reason for people to go get it. They're like, okay. The walls are caving in on Rob, Aaron, and Alyssa. <laughs> don't call it something. Tell them, tell them it's beneficial to everybody. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, obviously the two shortest people are the ones who are gonna go after it. It's the lowest one. But even if that, even if Jordan had came out of nowhere and actually been on the show and got mm -hmm. it, it still would have got open. They would have been like, yeah. okay, now Jordan, you did get the banker's reward. Do you want to open it? Of course she's gonna open it. They're like, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. it was always gonna happen. I just feel like with so many people, how, how are we having a non-elimination episode in this? Why do you think? <sighs> I mean, that they're we're gonna trying get rid of to two? save that. Nah, they they're trying to save these kids. They want the drama. They know they're trying to stretch it out. You messed up when you eliminated Kim Matina. That was your TV. Now you just <laughs> screwed up. <laughs> now you gotta now you gotta jump through. Like, how do we make this interesting for a couple more episodes? They put they paid Miranda simmer. forty thousand dollars to go away. I'm just saying, and it was a steal. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but and 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 here's the thing. I know, I know. We were all saying last week, like this was production saving Alyssa, blah blah blah. But also, some very helpful people also made the point that the it behooves the banker to try to spend as little of his money as possible. I said that. I know. Yeah, and I'm including you in the smart people oh no Bitch. please don't don't bring down <laughs> don't bring down their average for me jenny please I, well, all i'm yeah. saying is my initial <laughs> reaction <laughs> my my initial reaction was well duh it makes sense to give her 40k to make her go away as opposed to giving her damn near a million dollars just right. mathematically that money sense. doesn't go into the pot he spends mm -hmm. less money because if because if the if you know he has to make but a didn't bigger the money offer. go into the pot last week I think it did anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. well, I think be because if she didn't take the offer, then she keeps playing and the chances uh -huh. that she would have got the higher she would have higher, higher and one. he spends even mm -hmm. more money. Yeah. So he I took the he paid her to go away and to take the lesser amount, basically. Yeah. yeah. Which which was still probably less money that would have been spent. But I mean maybe they were like Maybe they were always going to do a non-elimination at some point and they were hoping that it would, uh, you know, work out to save someone that they wanted to save. But there was a situation here where Aaron plays and he could have eliminated someone that, you know, is against Rob. So unless they say now amy open up your case and then she opens up the case and it says no elimination because that's essentially what happened aaron was holding the case he had nothing to do with the game amy had her whole game set up she did the game herself and then when she gets it the banker calls back like yeah by the way make aaron open the case why what what why for what how does he that benefit the person who, <laughs> yeah he's he just holding it. up there mm -hmm. it's not like amy was like I'd rather open this than play Deal or No Deal Island. She even tried before the game. She's like, can I open it? And no, 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 no. Just no, wait. No. <laughs> we might need we that. We need in to case. drag this out. We need to yeah. we need to hear every number and why you chose it. It's mm -hmm. very important to the show. Jenny, had she no deal, like had she took the deal after the first set of cases, right? Mm -hmm. Would you think the dealer was gonna be like, all right, but you do got the bonus case? No elimination. It's like, no, they would have been like, bye, Amy. No, there's no. They they'd be like, well, what was the point of this case? We have to open like, it. Well, uh, you, if you had gotten down to the final two, we would have known. You know, like it, mm -hmm. bro. I'm telling you, they were gonna make this this math work out in their in their favor regardless. I see you. Yeah, that is interesting that, that she would have taken a deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was become the biggest tinfoil hat on the panel. Yeah. <laughs> it's because last week I was like, what? They're rigging this? Oh my god! And now I'm yeah. like, no, no, no. They shenaned once. Damn it. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tap- <laughs> you see what's happening. Yeah. You are, yeah. Your eyes are open. Definitely I'm- last week, I felt like that they were 100% trying to just like get Miranda out of the picture so we can concentrate on the people we care about. But this week, right. I'm a little bit more like you, you make some good points. If Boston Rob beats the banker, they say, Boston Rob, who do you want to eliminate? They do not say, there's no elimination tonight. They just let them mm-hmm. eliminate somebody. But because it was Amy and we know who she would eliminate it, probably. But one of the mm-hmm. two other people that is causing, you know, some turmoil here for the cast, I think they were like, uh, show me Aaron's case. And I was like, bro, you didn't even have to do that. You could have still let Amy, she could have still eliminated somebody. Because rem- remember, she put herself through all this stress for nothing. Literally mm-hmm. for nothing. Yeah. And like last week, at least the shenanigans resulted in a very, very fun end. And we still got to see the drama Mm -hmm. of Miranda revealing that what the plan was and who she would have taken out. Like it was still fun. I do not support the shenanigans when it results (laughs) in just wet fart noise at the end of the episode. Like, yeah, Mm -hmm. literally like the the price is wrong music, you know? (laughs) Like I was just like this, this, like obviously i want i'm team tv like i want it to be fun i want to keep the people in that have some conflict with each other like i'm sorry i love all my love to the night owls but i don't want to get down to just the night owls that's not fun for me. oh my god um so as much as i want there to be good tv i don't want it at the cost of we just get to the end of the episode watch someone play deal or no deal which is the least interesting part of the episode and then no one goes home so yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I don't I don't claim this. Please do not associate this with me. <laughs> yeah. Could the Night Owls be the least exciting alliance in the history of reality television? Absolutely not. No Absolutely way. Not. No Absolutely way, not. Rob. That do you know how many seasons of Big Brother we've watched? You don't do this. Do not, <laughs> yeah. do not sensationalize this because there have been <laughs> awful, awful, horrible, yeah. boring ass alliances. Is, on Big hold on. Okay. Nothing. So is is Jordan in the Night Owls? No. no. What is Jordan what doing Jordan wrong is. to not even be included in the Night Owls? Well, according even the to the Night my... Owls are like, we, no, we don't have any use for Maybe Jordan. Maybe she would be, and she's just an er- she's an early bedtime gal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, she according just, to my exit interview with chance. Miranda, Miranda was very much saying that she was keeping her strategy to herself. She wasn't sharing it with the producers because she didn't want them to let let people in on her. A on tale her, uh... as old as time. Listen, she wasn't under the radar, Rob. She beat the radar. It's we a tale is old time. It happened Elf once. Palmer. It Truly. happened once in Guatemala and never happened again. But mm-hmm. you know, here <laughs> it, it Miranda has a good point. If she's keeping that to herself, she's not you're not giving them anything to put on camera. And I think Jordan might be one of those people as well who just and she ain't had nothing to share. She's just kind of chilling, hanging out. She's not. She's not yeah. any in any strategic conversations. All right. So I thought this was a rare misstep for Boston Rob to go to bed early. But look, uh, Boston Rob, Body like, I get it. Hello? Look, we're not getting any younger. We gotta go to bed. Okay, we're not Chappelle. All right. Well, even I. They're, even I. They're not even roughing it though. Like it's like, <laughs> oh, I have to stay up all night in a hammock, like in a comfy little, like with with maybe maybe hey, a glass we of wine. Got early call oh. time tomorrow. Yeah, oh. he's like, they're gonna get <laughs> breakfast. It's like, come on, what hey, happened? He's to hot. The Rob's like, hey, I gotta take my shirt off. I got that go was to funny. Bed. He was like, I yeah. literally got to get out these clothes. He was like, I'm going to keep being at work all day. Like, I was like, oh, my the, God. His room is probably on. air conditioned. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know if everybody else gets an air conditioned room. The shirt yeah. thing I understand, though. Like, mm-hmm. that, I, that I I completely get, you know. Take yeah. nothing worse than being in clothes you don't want to be in. Right. But how late could it? How late are these people staying up? I don't know. You know it, it can't be that, that Rob late. can't do it. <laughs> it or maybe he's just. Late. Well, and then the, here's the thing is, is Rob staying up really going to stop this from happening? You think they're going to go think, somewhere else? I think, I think maybe, and may, like, maybe I'm wrong, but do you, do you not think at this point that Rob kind of sees the writing at the wall on the wall and he's just like, I, I just need to try to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try to, to win. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's why he's going to bed early. Cause he's like, Hey, uh i gotta battle some freaking snakes tomorrow bro so i'm going to sleep (laughs) yeah i think so i think he knows he knows well let's talk about the formation of the night owls yeah Yeah. (laughs) you've got the big four nick four dawson steph and amy they're coming together and here's pop story here 
Nick has turned. Nick was one of Rob's minions. Yeah. Well, Rob went to sleep. And he he misplayed him yep. and Aaron and Alyssa did Nick dirty because he had no idea that Steph was some sort of um, you know, enemy here. And mm -hmm. by him being left out of a plan, he's like, yeah. I don't want to be so in, in fairness to Rob, anymore. he didn't even have anything to do with this plan that Aaron had came up with last week. But he knew I about mean, it. He, he knew about it. He knew it. about he it. Knew but this about was it. Aaron's bad plan that backfired and blew up on Rob. Yeah, but he but he, he, he let it happen. Yeah, look, like look, he, he should have gone to no Nick. Idea. Yeah, yeah, he should have gone to Nick and shared up that relationship. I'm just saying, yeah. look, we got we got to be critical of the master. He's he like look, mm -hmm. the bar is up here anyway, so we're mm -hmm. just talking to him right around here. There was you know what I'm saying? so much Nick in this episode. I was like, oh, this is Nick's boot episode I because so I'm like, oh, oh my god, we're hearing all no. about Nick. Uh, he passed the sanitation test. He's a smart guy. He's all over this place. Yeah, uh, we haven't been getting a lot of Boston Rob though, and I and I'm starting to wonder if we're about to start. Is this our swan song? Because we get a couple confessionals from Boston Rob, but it's not like in the first days. Those early days were very heavy. Like Boston Rob was telling us what, what was happening on the show essentially. Uh, now he's not like we go to him for like a, a quick, you know, a quick little one two. Like, hey, and uh, Boston Rob, tell us about Joe Magnanello's clothes. And he's like, yeah, he's dressed all fancy, you know. So, I yeah confessionals to be fair like i do still want to hear rob commenting on joe's wardrobe um but ultimately he ends up being you know safe here so he doesn't really have like you're gonna get more from rob when he's gotta turn the heat on when he's safe mm -hmm. he's not he's, he's hey, gonna sit back you know heat going on on this island gotta take this so, shirt off yeah but also they're they're attempting to give us some more characters except for jordan Except Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. We couldn't get a single confessional from Jordan to let us know where what side she's on, how she's feeling about things. Why? Nobody has even talked about Jordan. That's the mm -hmm. other thing. Like before we met Miranda, people were talking about Miranda. They're like, Miranda, yeah. she's crazy. She's chaotic. Nobody has mentioned Jordan's name except for Joe. You know, I, mm -hmm. like, what Magic her. the Gathering card is she? I don't even right. think Aaron said. Is she the princess card? Is there? There's still not a princess card, but if there it was, what is it? Yeah, uh, yeah. We don't get anything from her, but we do learn that Nick is Nick is smarter than he looks. He's he's like I, I know I look like a like a muscle guy, but I also like he like topped he uh, like was in the top percentage of these like uh, sanitation tests. He's at nine thousand people or something like that took it, and he's like yeah. in the top five hundred or something. It was crazy. I've never heard um, of this or ninety thousand people. Test. Yeah, me neither, but uh, he killed it. And so I'm starting to look at Nick as maybe a winner contender here because like, why, why are we learning about him all of a sudden? So I feel Visibility like... Visibility spike for yeah. sure. So yeah. I, I got an email from one of our listeners uh, that we were talking about uh, the Magic the Gathering. And a lot of people were like, uh, hey, like, uh, hey, you idiots talking about Magic the Gathering. It's like a billion dollar a year business. Magic we the never Gathering. said yeah. no, it was, yeah. oh, I knew it was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we always said for our life, it's been around, but we yeah. never consumed it. Anyway, yeah. so let me uh, read it. I got an email from one of our listeners, John, who said uh, that I, I've been I, I, for a very nice email. Uh, said, okay. I've been enjoying the Deal or No Deal Island uh, and was listening to the episode four recap. I thought I could provide a little bit of insight into why Aaron's magic experience is actually relevant to his understanding his good performance in against Rob in the bluffing game. He said, okay. first, ignore the stuff that the show made Aaron say about the princess, the pet. None of that has anything to do with magic. Is this from Aaron? Because no, how did right. why why does John know that production made Aaron say these things? I'm telling you, I'm Aaron is active on the Aaron. Reddit. He's active on the Reddit. I would not. I I I, I don't want to spoil myself. I'm not going to look, but I I would but, imagine that there's a thread where he has cleared that up. Basically, he okay. says that Magic: The Gathering is a lot like poker, and so that this might be a blind spot for Boston Rob, not realizing that. Uh, Aaron is a uh, fellow uh, strategic game player, a bluffer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, there you go. By the way, is, did you happen is, to see this week on social media that Boston Rob hosted Aaron at his house? Yeah. Um, and then also, did they get together with Jonathan and Mike from Survivor 42? They sure did. They sure did. <laughs> Jonathan lives there. No. Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan might like uh, live in uh, Boston <laughs> Rob's pool house. I think at this point, <laughs> like, what an interesting dinner that would have been, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. 
But yeah, Boston Rob was hosting uh, Aaron, and uh, you love to see it. But I also feel like, okay, I, I don't think that Aaron is going to like royally screw over Boston Rob in the game based on. It, that's uh, what it makes me think, right? Because like, I here's the thing, like Rob has been on enough shows. Do you think that he's going out of his way to invite and hang out with someone who really screwed him in one of the shows that he was on? Mm -hmm. Probably not, right? He's got enough going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah. I don't see it. Uh, but well, yeah. I mean, based on the information we've been getting from Aaron, anyway, screwing over Boston Rob is the least of his worries right now. Yeah. Okay, well, but here's here's the tweet from Rob. He says, "Guess who's coming to supper?" Of course, <laughs> I'm an anti supper word pro um, dinner person myself. I'm yeah, pro dinner. Dinner. I never said it, but uh, <laughs> no, I can see I Rob like... saying it. Yeah. So uh, there was that. And then also when Rob showed and shared a whole picture with the uh, entire with, with with look, here's Aaron and the whole the whole crew. They went to, they went to miniature oh, golfing. <laughs> that's so cute. He's like that's one of the gorgeous. family now. Yeah. That maybe he could babysit. They're like yeah. all the same height. <laughs> <laughs> the caption said the, the banker would be proud. I was like, what are you? Uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't think Aaron's so screwing over Boston Rob. right in. Let's see what happens after tonight's episode. <laughs> it's the son he always wanted. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. notice that he's wearing a Spider-Man shirt in that first uh, photo? Like he stays true to his branding. Mm -hmm. yes. Also, uh, I think we need more of Aaron and Jonathan from Survivor 42 together. Like put them on the amazing race. <laughs> they won't be able to get the two of them in the same shot right yeah it would be awful <laughs> the whole time be so It'd just awful. be jonathan's knees <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah. based on what we know about aaron there's no reason for him to screw over boston rob y'all why you know mm -hmm. like unless unless it's down to the final three people and only one person has to go and boston rob thinks it's him like yeah. I, yeah, I just don't see it because where are his allies down, right now? What if Alyssa makes We're not getting down to those, like, to Aaron, Alyssa, and Rob here, Rob, which is right. the, only, mm -hmm. the only time that uh, Aaron is going to choose okay. uh, someone over Rob, so. All right, well, uh, I know people are saying more talk about the Night Owls, but we got to talk about the rest Ooh. of the cast, okay? All right, so uh, <laughs> Stephanie talks to Aaron, and he's like, uh, tries to say, like, uh, they made me do it. Uh, this was not my plan uh, that, you know, Rob and Alyssa, they made me try to do this. Mm -hmm. He half owned it. Like he was like, cause, cause Stephanie was like, was this your plan? He says a little bit. And he's like, but I also know that that's what they wanted to do. And she goes, okay, well, who's they? And he's like, oh, uh, well, Alyssa and Rob. <laughs> and so it's mm -hmm. like, I feel like, I feel like Aaron is just he's too good of a, a person that he's got a hard time lying. He's like, he's, he, I think he struggles to lie a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like he does, he does the half truths. And then as soon as someone like calls out, like what, you know, the vague thing that he says, he's like, he just, he just clears it up. He's like, Oh yeah. These two people. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, ah, come I mean, on. <laughs> I don't see a downside to him telling the truth there. I mean, who, no. what, what, what could he possibly have said that they would have been like that? Stephanie would have been like, "Oh, thank God." It's like, no, Aaron, you either own it yourself or you throw your allies under the bus. And why not? Why not? Throw I feel like he kind of half bus? measured it because mm -hmm. he he like I felt like if he was going to if he was going to sell out Rob and Alyssa anyway, mm -hmm. why not completely sell them out yeah. and um and be like. I don't know if you know if you know that well, like Stephanie is going to be against Alyssa like why not be like oh, the bus. but I would say that the reason to not fully do that is because then the next scene we see Stephanie goes to Rob and tells Rob everything yeah. that Aaron said and then the last thing that Aaron, Aaron wants is for Rob to be turned against him where Rob is actively working against him That's no because she did not tell him everything that, uh, that he said because she did not go to Rob and say Aaron said it was you she went to mm -hmm. Rob and said, Aaron said it was Alyssa, and I want Alyssa out because they're all playing mm -hmm. the game. Stephanie doesn't want Rob mad at uh, Aaron. She wants Rob mad at Alyssa because she thinks she could still work with Aaron. Alyssa and Stephanie have come to the agreement that they cannot work with each other. So, no, nah, she could have gone and ratted him out. She did not. And so I think that his, probably, his misstep is probably not just like Jenny said, piling on Alyssa with all his might because mm -hmm. yeah. they already think she's Delilah. She's going to get you, you know, and so <laughs> it's, Stephanie legit removed herself from the challenge last week, like mid-challenge and been like, hey, pause put that to the side she you can't trust Alyssa. she's a snake you know if she's willing mm -hmm. to do that in the middle of the game oh yeah she'll listen to you be like i didn't want to do it but Alyssa made me 
He just didn't, you know, he, he like you said, half measured it. And, and Stephanie is also trying to ensure that there are, you know, guns pointed at other people besides her. Like mm -hmm. she, she wants, you know, if she can, if she can get Rob pointed at Alyssa over her, that's good for her. Um, she, you know, if she doesn't have to be the one like that has to get Alyssa out herself and has other people that would potentially go after her, like that's good. That's good for her too. So I actually didn't hate her um, her conversation with Rob. I thought she was doing a pretty good job. Um, but Rob, like, because she's here, here's the thing. Based on the confessionals, it feels like people like Stephanie and and Amy are very on to Rob. Like they see through his his stuff with with them. Um, and I don't get a ton from Rob acknowledging that he knows that they're onto him does that line up mm -hmm. like i think are they a blind spot like he doesn't trust them he wants to get rid of them but i i get the sense that he doesn't realize like how dangerous they are to him yeah i think he knows a lot of people are coming for him but i don't think he necessarily knows that every single person is coming yeah. he, like he talked about in this episode how like uh you know it's it's getting hot out here uh <laughs> that maybe that's why i had to yeah. take a shirt off but <laughs> I don't think he necessarily re realizes like every single one of these people is against him. Now, one thing I'm wondering, and I go back and forth on this myself, was what happened last week with Miranda ultimately going and not blindsiding um, and taking Alyssa out, which, you know, that's what was, that's, we all believe that's what was going to happen. That's what she said. Um was that better or worse for Rob? Because that could have been like a bloodletting. You feel like because mm. like he took a, like, he took an L, so he can like now fall back into the shadows. Mm -hmm. I just I don't know because it's like okay, Alyssa goes. Um, it, it's almost becomes, like on the traders when the faithful like they you have to get they say like you got to give them a trader eventually. You yeah. got to give them they got to keep them fed. Mm -hmm. But also. If there are still people that other people are after, then that's one more person that isn't him. And mm -hmm. so maybe he was going to be on him regardless. And as long as, you know, Alyssa's there over Miranda, that's one person that's probably not going to take him out and one person that other people are going to be happy to take out over Rob. So maybe it is still a net win. But I just have some. feelings for like, it's because he got so tied in to that plan. It made people mad at him that weren't mad mm -hmm. at him in the first place. Like yeah. the Nick thing, I think, is like th the fact that this se this plan seemed to lose Nick, and he basically just swam over to the to the Night Owls, and now he's in with Dawson and Amy yeah. and Stephanie. I think that part was bad for Rob. It's a good point because I kind of feel like that if Alyssa went home, I think Rob could have then either like gone back to Aaron and say. See what happens when you don't trust me. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like oh, okay, Rob, well, you know, I gotta, like, I gotta, you know, go back with you. Like, where, where else is Aaron gonna go? And it's almost like that he is like rededicated to him. He's uh, like really blames himself for losing Alyssa, isn't even mad at Rob. So I do think that there probably would have been positives that came out of it for Rob. Yeah. Even now, Aaron is still telling us. Alyssa's his number one. Nothing has changed. You know, as Rob is still second fiddle to 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 Alyssa. So it's like all all we did was get Miranda out of the way, and that and that does help because, like Jenny said, one less person that's targeting them, but also one less person who could be you know could be in that spot. Um, but it's it's not great. I think the only I really think the only misstep is losing Nick, and it just seems like Rob doesn't have a great relationship with everybody else. I mean, we've never seen Rob and Jordan talking. Um, we've never seen we Jordan seen anyone in Jordan talking, Chappelle. right? Mm -hmm. but that's what I'm saying. But like, Rob should be building an army to to protect himself, and it sounds like his army is two people, and it's not really Alyssa either. Alyssa just has nowhere else to go. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing, because if Alyssa had gone, um, then, you know, it really sounds like what Nick said was yeah. it was him, Aaron and and Rob day yeah. one. And so mm -hmm. that so that three stays intact. And I really think that's a better three for Rob than him, Aaron and Alyssa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so and that that misstep is bad, right? Don't like, discount Rob's other allies, namely Joe Manganello and the banker. Yes. Okay, Chappelle. That, that, look, <laughs> I, I I came out the <laughs> gate saying allies in the game. Gotta be because there is no reason the the banker's reward should be that the person who won Deal or No Deal Island does not get to eliminate somebody. 
Like that doesn't no. make any yeah. sense to me. Uh, it's the, a bonus. Ba- the banker, the banker loves good TV. Okay, yeah. you're in luck, Rob. <laughs> Joe Magnanello <laughs> said, um, he said, wait, oh yeah, I forgot. The banker, about that yeah, okay. I just told yeah. you, yeah, he got, I'll tell him. Okay, he loves yeah. ratings. Okay, he said, he literally said, I forgot about that, and I just was like, fill in the blank. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> banker reward, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah the, we're bank, not uh, the banker ahead. loves people that have been on TV a lot. <laughs> right, we're trying. Look, we already lost Claudia Jordan. We are not losing our ratings magnets here uh, by getting mm-hmm. rid of Rob Sesternino and all yeah. his allies. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're like, is there any way we can get rid of somebody? There's someone here we've we've barely had on the show. <laughs> like, <laughs> like with this, we're we're it's veering like, into Jordan was pushed territory. Right. Okay? <laughs> You're talking to Amy. Like, are you sure you want to target Rob and Alyssa? She's like, yeah, I think I want to get Alyssa. Rob's immune. She's like, okay, but have you seen Jordan? She's like, yeah, but I really want. Just like, so you sure you don't want Jordan out? Like, you positive? Mm-hmm. Like, you can't. I mean, because we're giving you somebody you could just eliminate. Nobody would be mad. She's like, no, I really think, you know. So So we're going to put you down for Jordan, right? Right. We're going to put you down for Jordan. We're going to pencil in Jordan. And then, you know, if you win deal deal or no deal at the end, if we trust you, we'll let you eliminate somebody. But if not, we're going to open that other suitcase. Next week, we're going to have multiple bonus, uh, baker <laughs> bonus. It's going to be like, no, no, really, for real this time. It's actually an advantage, I swear. Like, it's going to be like the longest yeah. thing. It's like, no, you guys, go for it, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the excursion from this week. And uh, we're going to get into pairs. And uh-oh, none of the night owls are on the same team. What's it going to mean? Devastating. Devastating. I Tough mean, imagine for the night owls. Getting separated means that one of you, like, I mean, somebody in the alliance is going to be in danger. I said, man, that's tough. Four of them just divided up like that. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we get Rob is with Stephanie. Mm-hmm. That's Aaron funny. is with Amy. Uh, is that Dawson with Jordan? Yes. Uh, yes. And then Nick is with Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, and this was the first I, time I realized there was only eight people. <laughs> right, right. It felt like there was a million people. And now I was like, oh, it's only yeah. eight. I was like, you know, oh, math. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, this challenge, I screamed. I saw what they had to do when they got you to that damn page. And I was so happy. This is the challenge. I've all I always look for you challenges that are made for me. I snakes, snakes and dynamite, my, baby. My favorite, <laughs> oh my God. This is like my favorite two things. It was literally yeah. like mm-hmm. snakes and dynamite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, w- I would have been down for this. Like, <laughs> sign me up every time. So, you had a partner. If you didn't watch the episode, then we find out that you need to grab, like, uh, you're, you're making a torch, uh, maybe mm-hmm. an homage to Rob, uh, and then uh, you get to put, like, uh, extra lengths to your torch to light Cinder. a fuse, mm-hmm. yeah. right, to be able to uh, blow up uh, a, f- a piece of dynamite that drops your case into the water, but the lengths of your torch are in sort of like these like lucite coffins filled with snakes. And we found out this week, something that we never knew from uh, Boston Rob's many years of survivor and the amazing race is that I hate snakes. (laughs) That's his one thing, I guess. Yeah. He's like, I don't even have a reason. I just don't like them. How is that? Like, how do you have no reason? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't ask him. He just doesn't. He doesn't have a reason, Jenny. He said. But I feel like, you know, that like a lot of people. It's not like it's a weird, yeah. like thing to to not be like down with. Like I think a lot of people are are don't love snakes. Mm-hmm. You think that he just doesn't want to admit that like he's scared of them? I mean, um, he's afraid of them for sure, right? Like, it's, yeah, but he's but like, also, he's not no reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that Rob has been on enough shows to also know that it's not going to be good TV for him to say, "Eh, snakes, whatever." No big Doesn't, deal. No yeah. big deal. So, are yeah. you yeah. trying to say that he actually is fine with snakes and he's playing it? Up? I don't think he has a major phobia with snakes because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he still handled it fine. I think. But I, I feel like it was common knowledge that he was afraid of snakes. Like I was is not surprised. Is this, is this yeah, canon? I don't know. Are you sure? Are you confusing what? him with Indiana Jones? <laughs> Probably. I've never actually seen Indiana Jones, but if I had, I probably I, I could see him and Rob being similar. Uh, but I don't know. It was like in my brain, maybe I just like always assumed that he had a weakness. 
I just always thought he was afraid of snakes. I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere. Why did it I mean, he's been on snakes. Yeah. He's been on a billion hours of Survivor. He might have mentioned it once. Someone will know if this has come up in any of the many hours of Rob mm-hmm. being on Survivor, whether he has mentioned right. snakes and how he feels about them. So oh, I'm right. sure oh. someone got us if this is yeah, a I thing. Like, maybe I made it up in my head, but it just for me, it just felt like, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, that's not right. canon. Okay. He didn't yeah. like the dead the dead fish. Okay. But that okay. wasn't a snake. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I don't, don't know. know. Maybe I just maybe I made that up. Who knows? Yeah. But I it, just, it, we don't watch The Amazing Race. Famously. <laughs> yeah. Famously. Is that famous? Yeah. I, I would. But yeah. the thing is, it's like the, with with snakes, it's like this is a common thing that people don't like. Um, and the other thing is, is like these were not docile, um, you know, like completely yeah. harmless snakes. They were pissed off snakes. They were angry that were snakes. Biting people. <laughs> Can I get some ill-tempered snakes? <laughs> oh my god! How do we end up back here? Also, that was perfect. We'll Thank you. That was amazing. Back. Yeah. Can um, they be ill-tempered? <laughs> One million snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the snakes. Are like, I, I'm not re- super afraid of snakes, but I don't want to get bit by snakes. I don't want to get bit by anything. I don't even get bit by a freaking mosquito. It's not a good time. Would you rather get bit by one giant mosquito? <laughs> or keep the relationship with snakes that you have right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it would it'd be one thing. It's like when, when you have, you know, these challenges on, like, Big Brother, and they're in the coffin, and they get, like, all the gross, creepy, crawly things, like, dumped on them. And they're just there. They're just gross, and they're there. But they're minding their own business. They're yeah. not going to bite you. These snakes were pissed they yeah. were biting like it, no one wants to do that whether you like snakes or not like but, i love cats i don't want to be willingly getting bit and scratched, scratched by yeah. cats you know mm-hmm. like not a fun time yeah so yeah rob and nick were both vying to try to put together the poll to go after the highest value cases and so uh you know rob is trying to finagle his way around but like nick like at one point like he's just like going for it uh and he's got his arms in the thing and he's just like bite me bite me bite me bite me which is exactly what i said after i found out it was a non-elimination episode (laughs) are we bringing back bite me no (laughs) everything like y2k is coming back (laughs) we'll just like start playing like Put that 90s, in the lexicon like, of like of, of white folk slang because that one goes up. Uh, bite me, bite me? Gets you every time. Bite, bite me. Yeah. It's like not it That's feels very one. 90s. Like yeah. I feel like there was like those t-shirts that would just like like novelty t-shirts that would say like bite me. Bite me. And it would Eat be like some like grandmother in Florida would wear it or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but Rob, there was one thing that um nick said to the snakes that was upsetting to me greatly yes yes um and it is it is sim- a similar theme to, to what keeps coming up here nick said to these snakes be nice to daddy mm. be nice to big wick nick be nice. big wick <laughs> nick said, big wick said, energy be nice to dad well he didn't say it like that but <laughs> that's how it felt to me and i didn't like it mm-hmm. be nice but- to daddy like, I'm sorry. I would have been in heaven. I love snakes so much. I was just, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was watching through the screen like, oh, it's a bunch of snakes. Now, do I want to get bit? No, I'm not crazy. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, I wouldn't have been afraid to get, like, you know, once you get over the fact that it's going to hurt a little bit, they gave you that little protective sleeve, you know, mm-hmm. people were using it on their hand. Yeah. It wasn't awful. But yeah. I mean, oh, that's you, what you they live. were, that, the little armband. Yeah. That yeah. Was, little like, armband. Right. I mean, that's what it was. Right. I was wondering they gave what them they were, I was like, where'd they get this like latex looking There's thing? a reason like, why they gave it to them. They were like, put um, this on your arm. No, they Nick always had get them. They always get them. Mm-hmm. Do they? They always they get the bugs? Uh, yeah, they think they had it with the climbing the tree. Yeah. Oh, okay. With the archery, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also, did you catch that? Did Aaron call one of the snakes a douche when he got bitten? Oh, did you catch that? I did not catch this, but I love that. That's sure that funny. Happened. Yeah, <laughs> more white folks. Yeah. You know, it, look, it, it happened. You don't, like, you don't like douche either. I liked them both. I said they're good. I'm, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving credit where it, this, where it belongs. This was Aaron Fighting right after douche. he called the snake a douche. I hate you guys. <laughs> I hate you snakes. <laughs> 
It, you do. It was, it was very important <laughs> for everybody to be douche. able. <laughs> everybody to be able to put their hands in there and and battle the snakes in order to get these extenders and i was i was loving it i thought it was pretty cool it's like the great equalizer like are you brave enough to put your hand in there and get bit because i think a few yeah. people thought like it's not gonna bite us surely it's not gonna bite us and i think we the one line we get from jordan is oh shit they do bite i was like yeah mm -hmm. yeah did you miss that mm -hmm. because they've been Didn't biting Joe everyone else the whole time bite? I thought well he, he said it that. but i think that he was being kind of coy about it so they thought he was playing yeah. he's like they don't bite Hard or hard. like a lot or something like that, and people like, oh, like, oh, no, Joe, really, no, they seriously, they bite, but it's not poison. Yeah, yeah. you'll yeah. you'll live, but you're gonna be annoyed. <sighs> All right, so I don't know, I I don't know how much like there is tell. to break down here for this uh excursion. <laughs> ultimately, that Rob goes for the highest case, and then uh, there's a battle between uh, uh Nick and uh who is with Nick with Alyssa uh Alyssa, to go back yeah. and forth but yeah Rob and Stephanie end up uh getting the two highest cases Rob even says Stephanie did a good job but don't get used to it yeah he's like I'll give her a compliment now but those are going to be few That's and far it. between yeah mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. the snake to my mongoose or the <laughs> mongoose to his snake <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, like I think I remember that. The snake from my mongoose. I'm, I'm, I love that this is a thing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, ultimately, um, Aaron's gonna drop the torch in the water, uh, cementing that Aaron uh, and Amy are going to uh, be going into the last place battle. They do pick up the banker's bonus case, which ultimately we find out cancels the elimination later on in the episode. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, so and I, I was trying to piece it together while it was happening. It, it seemed that the bank, because they, they can only bring back two cases, um, but the banker's bonus case is a true bonus and that it didn't count as one of the two cases. Right. Um, so they still had to or had the opportunity to bring back two um, no. value cases. Yes, they did. No. I thought yeah. they only had the two cases and no, one of them was they the bonus. Brought back, they brought back like... Um, Oh, you're right. 600k and and, and 500k or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then Aaron was going for another one when the torch went out. Is that what's going yeah. on? Yeah. yeah. Or no, I think he was going for a bigger one or some. I don't. I don't really remember what happened. But like, yeah. I just felt like as soon as you go after with this type of challenge, unless things go really wrong for other people, you're basically choosing to be in the bottom, right? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the amount yeah. of time that it takes to get that case. And that counts as one of your case. Well, not one of your, but it, it is the time you took to get a case when you could have gotten a case for value of better value. Mm -hmm. um, that pretty much gets you into the bottom, right? Do you think there was a way that like people could, could you run out and then go get that case and then, and then like get like, that's in essentially and out what they times. tried to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's essentially what they tried to do. And it was just it was just too hard. Um, yeah. but again, that's why that's why I said it was some shenanigans. Cause whoever ended up in the bottom, whoever went and got that thing was probably gonna be in the bottom too. And yeah. not like it more than not, one of those people was going to take a like try to target Rob, Alyssa, or Aaron. If you think about the pairs, there's a night owl on each one. So mm -hmm. I mean, all it takes is a night owl to end up in the bottom two, and there you are. You, you know, one of them is gonna get targeted. So I wasn't shocked. That uh that this was, you know, coincidentally a non-elimination round. That's all I'll say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Aaron and Amy are in the bottom two. Uh, both seem okay with the idea of playing, although Rob feels like okay that he has more to lose if Aaron plays. Uh, he'd be like, more excited if Amy plays because he can't get eliminated, and also if Amy goes home. She goes home, uh, but he doesn't want to let Amy know what he wants. So he just basically has to sit there while Amy talks it through and says that she wants to control her own destiny. I wondered here, did Rob and Aaron, dis because Rob seemed very like clear about the fact that he doesn't want to show his cards that he wants Amy to play. So he needs her to want to do it herself and have it be her idea. And I felt like, the fact that Aaron was also being like, no, like I, I beat the banker already. Like, I feel like I can do it. I'm like happy to do it because he was offering him himself up. And Amy also says like, 
the way that Rob and Aaron were looking at each other, like, I just don't trust them. That seemed to be what ultimately made her be like, no, no, no. I see through your game here. I'm not letting Aaron play. I'm going to play. Like, did that, did Rob and Aaron plan for this to try to get her or did it just work out that way? Hmm. I think there's no world where Amy doesn't want to play this. There's what does it, what does it benefit her to allow Aaron to play? If Aaron plays, he then gets to eliminate somebody, and Amy could go home. She could just get eliminated for not being in the bottom two. I mean, for not being the one who plays against the banker. Because she but said, Amy if probably she, not getting eliminated by Aaron. She doesn't know that. She's got to know that. It's probably gonna be Stephanie, right? Like maybe. Why would Stephanie? Oh wait, Stephanie can't be eliminated. True. Stephanie is immune, right? And Stephanie and Aaron yeah. seemingly have a decent relationship. Amy is not immune just because she's in the bottom two. Because she says I could either go for Aaron or Alyssa, and she says I'm leaning toward Alyssa. But if uh if Aaron wins, who does he go for? If not Amy, then who? Dawson. Well, and the other thing is they talk about. Sorry, what were you say? No, I'm just saying Dawson, uh, Nick, Jordan. Why yeah. would Aaron target any of them? No, that's true. Um. The the other like wrinkle here, which ends up being non like consequential, is the freaking banker's bonus and the fact that they discuss that they think that it's some sort of personal offer. So Amy just saw Miranda go home and make forty k for herself because the banker mm -hmm. decided to give her a personal offer. And so there's this big conversation back after the excursion that they're like, it's some sort of joint personal offer. Um, so perhaps the person that play like they're thinking well maybe the offer is only for the person who plays and so mm -hmm. you know her for her chance to get anything out of that banker's bonus she had to play well it turns out it was gonna just be nope somebody not going mm -hmm. home no matter who was playing but mm -hmm. i just yeah. think there's no world where she should even want to sit this out like with the banker's sure. bonus as an option and i think Alyssa probably articulated it the best in the episode for some people there's no point in being in the middle you know, like what is being in the middle going to do for Alyssa? She needs to either be immune or be the one guessing because anybody could guess. And chances are it's either her, Rob or Aaron. And with Rob being immune, it's either her or Aaron. So with Amy, you know, if she lets Aaron be immune, then who's who is Aaron going to go for? You don't know. And so if you know that uh, if it's common knowledge, and I think it is that Amy was going to probably target Alyssa at this point. Aaron should definitely not want Amy to be the one guessing, right? Unless, but unless he's like, okay, well, save me for a week. But he also should be targeting Amy. Like, yeah, I won this and I want you out because you're about to target one of my allies. So I don't think this guess, took that much of a decision. No, and I, like I agree. Like it was, it it makes sense for both of them to play. I guess I just wish that they had given Aaron a confessional there to explain like what he wanted because. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like, okay, did did Rob and Aaron come up with some sort of plan? Because apparently, like, they were looking at each other weirdly during this conversation, and that you know gave Amy the the creeps or whatever. And it's like, I would have liked to. We we found out what Rob wanted to happen here. Apparently, it all worked out to what he wanted. But how was Aaron feeling here? Was Aaron being mm. like? Rob probably wants Amy to play, but I would rather be in control of my own destiny. Mm. I don't want Alyssa to go home. I don't want to go home. The best way of doing that is playing myself. Like, I could have yeah. just gotten that, right? Yeah, anyway. I guess. I I wish Aaron would have said, I want to play, but... Mm -hmm. Again, he did. I don't know. I don't know. It's just really it's a it's a it's a it's a really it's a really weird spot for him to be willing to just leave himself vulnerable like that, unless he really just trusted that Amy would have gone after Alyssa. I think I really think everybody just thinks Alyssa was next. You know, like he might he thought like I got a week or so, and the banker said mm, double or nothing. Maybe he uh popped open the briefcase at some point. It was like okay, all right. <laughs> take a little peek. It's gonna work yeah. out. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's Let fine. whoever play. Anybody yeah. could play. Stephanie, you want to play? <laughs> I, I like that Amy was kind of having like a little bit of a nervous breakdown about how, first off, she said uh, she's done. She doesn't want to scheme and plot somewhere. David Bloomberg's head exploded. And then, right, you know, this is a survivor viewer, right? Like there's mm -hmm. no, do people just say scheme and plot in real in real life that don't watch that show, Rob? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. Are, you, are you saying that Amy is so far down the survivor rabbit hole that she listens to the why blank lost podcast? No, I'm saying she watched Survivor Thailand and she heard uh she she, she heard it mentioned one time. <laughs> <laughs> and then also uh Jenny, she really needed a, a PSL. <laughs> of all the like I feel like that's the last thing that I would be craving 
in like the hot, hot ass, ass jungle. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, was it fall when this was filming? And she's just like, <laughs> she was just like, oh my God, it's PSL season and I'm missing it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know why that's what she's craving, but. It's like, she's oh, saying- it's so hot. Rob is like ripping his shirt off. But, oh, you know, I could go for a toasty hot PSL in this weather. Mm-hmm. She said, I'm a white lady of a certain age. Damn it. I'm supposed <laughs> to be drinking. Star- I'm supposed to have Star- Starbucks <laughs> now. You yeah. know, like I've gone too far. My lifeblood is just seeping out. Yeah. yeah, she she needs to get her hair done and get her right. like, her whole situation, her nails and her PSL. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what? All right. I respect that. Let's go to the Banker's Temple uh, again. Rob did the thing of like, Amy wants to be in the in the showdown, so we have to respect her wishes. Of like, it's this is a, yes, Such what, an honorable we, we are man. we are respecting <laughs> what Amy wants, and she's gonna and somewhere, play somewhere. Banu was like, so you could just lie to Joe Magnanello like that? You could just lie, <laughs> really? You just tell him crap. Yeah, you could just tell him crap. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, doodles, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. We find out also Amy, she wants to come back with millions of dollars. Uh, One, she's going to buy her grandma, her dream car, which is a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a big, that's a big car. That is a big (laughs) vehicle for granny. What's the difference between the Grand Cherokee and is, is there just a Jeep Cherokee? Yeah, there's a regular Cherokee. What's the Jeep I think about $15,000. No, okay. there's a re- yeah. The, oh, the, the Grand Cherokee is like the expedition to the to the Cherokees. Okay. Like, more, it's like the souped you know? up one. Yeah, it's bigger. It's got the third. I don't know role. what the Jeep I like is. Mm-hmm. I-, I like the one with the tire on the back. Like the, <laughs> you know the one, like the I know the, like the, one. the 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 one that looks like you go off roading in it. Yeah, it's like you take the you take the doors off just so you could drive down the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. the you one. Like the I like. and that one, the that's what I was. Yeah. But I was picturing just a bigger version of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm just picturing a grandmother driving, and I was like, hell yeah, <laughs> grandma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, we're going to Starbucks. You coming? <laughs> get in. Get in. Mm-hmm. Want to get PSLs? Get in, losers. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then for Amy's husband, Chappelle, another truck. Another truck. She wants to, to go, go mud. Yeah, I have like, a truck. Like, like with Lewis mudding. Lit? Yeah, no, not that kind of money. That's what me and you are going to do one day. Yeah, trust me on this one. That was going to, and that's going to be a good time. But no, this is in a truck. Uh, I get it. I, I could never go mudding in my truck. Don't get me wrong. My truck would do awesome mudding, but because it's a huge mo- mofo. But at the same time, I don't want it to get muddy like that. You know, it'd be real, real dirty. I don't yeah. like it. I don't like that. Okay. Because like you can't get all of that because the mud gets like, in every in crevice, it gets in, in your, the crevices, inside mm-hmm. the like the guts, the nooks and the crannies as well. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. like that's mud for years. That that yeah. becomes part of the truck. Exactly, and I was just like, I don't yeah. like that for my truck. But I look at my truck sometimes and think, should you go mudding? Like, is it is it? Is it <laughs> it's like you want un- like, to like to not have gone mudding. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I use my truck for other holding stuff, your but... truck back from its destiny. I think so. Listen, I'm yeah. trying Ford F one fifty, babe. It's supposed to do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, gotta put the F. In F-150. Gotta put the F in F one fifty. I actually think it's a two fifty. I lied. It's a big ass truck. All right. What is the one fifty? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not turning this into yeah. Jenny learns about trucks. Car talk. <laughs> truck talk. Okay. All right. We see Amy picks case number eight. She's got to pick uh. What nine cases? Okay, she picks a bunch of cases. She's knocking a bunch of big values off the board. I think this is my number one pet peeve of the show when people ultimately like are like they like, oh, she gets high values taken off. Everybody like, oh, that she because opens the case it's money one penny. For them. And, and, and then yay. It's, um it's better, it's better for the you know if you don't want the person to be eliminated and you know you're the person playing and you want the best chances of making a good deal then yeah um you like we said you want a lower you know value in your case Mm -hmm. um and and knocking off these big values shouldn't be such a a terrible thing but these people they're sitting there and they're like that's money towards something i'm hoping i still win so i think that's what they're they're cheering for. Mm-mm. Rob, First you, offer. You, yes. Yeah. 
the, no, that, I was just gonna point out that you are different. You're definitely not. You're like shunning the spirit of the game. You know, this is deal or no deal. Different, Chappelle. Yeah, this is about <laughs> gambling. I got a I got a message from some one of the listeners that said I would have I wouldn't have given up that uh my spot for forty k. And I said that's because you're a degenerate gambler and you have a problem. <laughs> Anybody else would take the money and leave, but you you are in it for the love of you know, that slot play. machine, you know? Yeah. You want to play. Rush, and I get the, that, but yeah, going. nobody yeah. wants to put their game on the line and the, and the dealer be like, I mean, the banker's like, all right, your offer is, um, yeah. $25, 25. Yeah. Rob did it the best that he took an offer. It was like, like 40 K for the pot. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it it's like, like, Hey, this is a good deal. There. This is a good like, offer. Day. I yeah. gotta play the odds here. But yeah. If, um, yeah. But, if, but if I'm the opposition, I'm rolling my eyes being like, of course he took a low one. He's already he got, rich. Seemingly no flack for that. We didn't hear yeah. one person complain that he did that. That's why Nick jumped ship. <laughs> uh, I need the money. <laughs> all right, banker calls up. Offer 152k. At this point, uh there are four cases lower than 152k, three cases higher. Statistically, this is a good deal. It's I mean a, a better than 50/50 for Amy. Now we know ultimately she will have the uh 850k case. Mm -hmm. So um, while mathematically this is a good deal for her, is she would lose. Right. If there was an elimination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she, important. She opens up a bunch of other cases. And then Chappelle, she asks Kamari, I need the one dollar case. And she says, I'll give you a foot massage. Mm -hmm. Kamari accepts said offer. Yeah. She's like, Are you sure? Are you yeah. Because I Cause I see the answer here and I, I want my foot massage massage, you know, um, who's getting the better end of this deal. I mean, Kamari's not losing anything, you know, she just had to open a case. Her so life she's getting goes free, on. Yeah. yeah she's, she's getting, getting paid. Free. My vote is Amy. You think, Amy? well, I mean, yeah, I mean, Amy got screwed over this entire episode. Let me make no mistake. Mm -hmm. She did all of this to get no money because, of course, unless she wins, she doesn't see any of this anyway. And she didn't get to eliminate nobody. And now she got to go give Kamari a foot massage. So, yeah, she took three L's back to back. But, Rob, are you saying that she wins because she gets to give Kamari a, a foot massage? And mm. you think that that's a prize? I, th I think that's probably <laughs> better than... Most of the other prizes on the show. I, I, I mean, I you don't want to give Dawson friend. a foot massage. He might make you eat his toenails after. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 go pass. I think so I'd rather do that than have a pumpkin have a spice latte. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, All right. I don't know. I want to see if, like, this if Amy pays up because she said, "Give me that one dollar." We'll I'll see give the next episode massage. opens up with Amy giving Kamari the foot massage. Yeah, mm. we don't get enough Amy and, or sorry, uh, Kamari and uh, and Ben. ben yeah, ben well, well, I'm glad you bring that up because you, as you know, there is no exit interview this week. But uh, you know, I'm still going to talk to some people from Deal or No Deal Island. I will be interviewing our briefcase people. Yes, I will be talking to Kamari and Ben and trying to ask. Is this for real? I mean. It, it or a very elaborate uh, April Fool's joke, Rob. I guess you'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, but yeah, I'll be talking to Ben and Kamari and yeah, asking find them out a few if she questions. got the foot massage from Amy. Yeah, that's, what, that's, that's the, my top the first question. question? Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. what the second question is, but yeah. <laughs> I like and Ben, did you want one too? Talk about it. Yeah, Let's I want to know if Ben got his vodka, vodka his for the cucumber, cucumber water. water. Yeah, that's my question. Yeah. If you could pass that along, yeah, yeah, leave it in the comments. Anything of, from <laughs> Claudia Jordan? Yeah, <laughs> drop this in the comments. Let us know if you have any questions for Kamari and Ben because I will be interviewing them tomorrow for in, in, in lieu of an exit interview. Thanks to our, our great banker twist. Okay, all right, <laughs> then okay, um. The offer comes in 825K. There is one case lower, which is the $100 case. And there are two cases higher, 850K and 2.5 million. And so, uh, you know, pretty, pretty uh, sneaky from the banker here to just put it right mm -hmm. under that yeah. 850K. So this mm -hmm. is now a bad, uh, a bad offer for her. She has a 66% chance to lose here, right? Because there are two values higher than mm -hmm. the banker's offer. She says no deal, opens up the $2.5 million, million case, dollars. Mm -hmm. and 
Now the, the offer's down to 467K. Yeah. Which is less than the banker's kids' monthly allowance, apparently. Oh, yeah. That's or a rich guy. info about the banker. But it's all mm -hmm. for naught because it's like, all right, Aaron, open the case. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? No, no, no. Last week it was Rigor Morris and everybody was cool with it. Now it's happening and we're like, we're bored now. I told y'all we needed our pound of flesh last week. Now they're kicking the can down the road and we're never going to get it. Need drama. All right. Ain't it. Yeah. So this was the halfway point of Dondi from uh, what I understand. I believe this is a 12 episode run. So we mm -hmm. are halfway there. I, you made the merge. It is wild to think that there are six more episodes of Dondi. Yeah, okay, well, that is true. It feels I guess we're like we're getting to down me, to that final two we keep hearing about. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I think this feels like there's probably about like three episodes left of Dondi, but there's six. Right. Well, because well, we're so used to watching Survivor and the, and the finale having 19 people in it. You know, it's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. we're down to the final seven. Three mm -hmm. hour episode, you know, it's like ah, they're they're gonna probably keep this going until we get to a final three or something like that, and then there'll be a final two for their that final episode, or maybe we get a reunion. We don't really do reunions no more. I kind of let's do that. Let's do a reunion special for I am episode team twelve. Reunion for yeah. Everything. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because I got questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So check out tomorrow. Chappelle's gonna have uh, Kamari and Ben. It's an April Fool's joke, Rob. I'm not gonna talk to Kamari and Ben. What the hell? April Fools. Why are you yeah. doing this to me? It's April first. I know, yeah. but yeah, I don't. I'm not a big okay. April Fool. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Damn. Okay, for just for that, Jenny, you're right. I will talk to Kamari and Ben. Uh, April Fools again. You got double faked out. You April double fooled fools me. Yeah. We did it. Wow. I'm so glad this day is over. <laughs> Long ass day, April. 3rd. Put Rob out of his misery. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Jenny, what's coming up for you? <laughs> Rob, let's let's be real. Not a whole lot. Like I said at the at the top of the podcast, I angered the Survivor gods last week, and not only did they say no elimination on Dondi, we're gonna make Survivor forty six you know have a great episode to make jenny look stupid and also i got sick and i don't appreciate oh. that so so i'm just you know i'm just taking care of myself trying to get better i think i'm i'm uh, turning the bend um but uh you know it's all good okay dondy forever dondy dondy yeah. okay so, feel better it. jenny okay how <laughs> yeah. about you know have a uh nice uh, pumpkin spice theraflu if you have a chance <laughs> yeah, that sounds actually disgusting <laughs> <laughs> one of the best flavors it's like no thank you <laughs> yeah okay Chappelle, what else is coming up for you uh well uh this weekend on nothing but netflix uh i met and talked to um josh wiggler and christian hubicki wow. about three body pro problems so check that out on nothing but netflix it was an interesting show and you know we have christian on so we gotta have a, a we had a lot of conversations that i mm -hmm. didn't understand but i just kept nodding and smiling so check that out um also you can catch me on the below deck wrap up on the bravo uh wrap ups feed where um sasha and i are talking about below deck every week and we're having a great time uh i think we're about at the mid season of that as well so you know a lot more below deck to come but you can check us out on youtube live every wednesday at 3 p.m eastern and also on recap kickback my podcast i'll be talking about whatever i want to talk about and so uh we got abbott elementary co coverage come from him from me and Gia and then Mari and Tyrone and I just recently uh, talked about Freak Nick, the wildest party e never told. And so check that out and more on recapkickback.com and follow me on all social media platforms at Recap Kickback. Plus, Chappelle joined us over the weekend on Renap for the ultimate TV catchphrase bracket. That was a really fun podcast. We kept it tight. Kept it tight. And, that was, and, I, and, I, and I appreciate that. You're but welcome. Check that one out. TV catchphrase bracket. Um, what's the deal or no deal catchphrase? Uh, deal Dundee. or no deal? Yeah. <laughs> Dundee. Yeah. Dundee. Dundee. Yeah. Battle yeah. cry. Dundee. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, check out the exit press on Tuesday this week and join us Maybe. again for more Deal or No Deal Island next week. Take care of a good one. Bye.